Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on these heads. We're going to get the valves lapped. What lapping simply means is when the engine runs, the valves close on this face right here. So this is the valve face. It closes against the seat in the, in the head. Those over time wear. So what we want to do is we're going to put the valve down into the seat like this, and we're going to put a abrasive compound on the face, and then rotate the valve to basically grind the face of the valve and the seat together. It's going to grind them and get a nice smooth surface between the two that seals really well. some valve grinding compound. This is specifically made for doing this job. And then a valve lapping tool, which is really just a stick with a suction cup on the end, so we can stick it onto the valve and then use that to rotate. Let's take a look at how that works. So we're going to just take a valve. We're going to take some of this lapping compound here. And I'm going to put it on the face. Really, it only needs to be on the face. Anywhere else isn't going to do anything. Okay. Now, we want to make sure that the valve stem and guide is lubricated. You could lubricate either one. I'm just going to give a little shot down there. Right down into the guide. And I'll take the valve. Drop it down in. Now I can take my finger from underneath and push it up. You can say so it'll rotate. You can feel it and hear it. It kind of sounds like sandpaper in there. Then we're going to take the lapping tool, stick it to it, and and so when we lap it that abrasive that abrasive rubs right here and on the face of that seat so the the face of the valve and the seat i'm going to lift it up and i'll show you what it looks like once we've lapped it a little bit so take a look at that here let me grab another one for comparison. So you can see where the abrasion is starting to smooth out all the way up on this valve. You can actually see there's a little bit of a low spot on the face right there. If I wipe across that, that's not valve grinding compound. It's a little bit of a low spot. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to get it to look smooth like that and uniform all the way around. So we want to get rid of that low spot you can see there's a low spot right in through there that runs along the valve. So we want to get all of that out. And then let's look at this seat as well. I'll clean some of this out so we can see it. So you can see, again, it's not perfect. We've got a nice, smooth, dull surface here from it rubbing. But then up here, see that dark area? Looks like it's mostly right through here. So we've got this spot that we want to take care of on the seat, and then a couple of spots on the valve face. You can feel it as you do it for a bit. It'll start getting smoother and smoother as it pushes that grit both out of the valve seat area and the whatever the abrasive in there starts to get crushed and broken down. So, don't be surprised if you have to go back and redo it a few times, recoat, and regrind. You can give a little bit of downward pressure. These things are hardened steel, so they take a bit of work to go through. So now I can check. I know that over here was the area that needed some attention. 
if I wipe that off and take a look at it again, look at how it's getting nice and smooth. It's a real even color or a real even look. Little dot like right there, there's probably a low spot, but that's looking really, really good now. I can clean this off again just to take a look. Normally I wouldn't clean it quite so many times. I'd do it a little bit longer, but it gives you an idea what it looks like. You can see there's a little dark area right there where it's still low in the valve, and that's from it running against the seat before. Still a little bit low right there as well. But you can see that this band is starting to widen as it's coming across more and more of that face. So I'm going to go through it again. One thing to understand about this compound, and it probably says somewhere on here. Yeah, there we go. So it says, if you can read that, it says there's four grit sizes in here. Basically a 220, 180, 150, and 120. So it starts out with the more coarse to take more material. And as that breaks down, you get some finer and finer. But what you can also do is you can wash some of the coarser stuff out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a final lap. So once you get it kind of where you want it to be, take a little bit of moisture, a little bit of water, and get it in there. And what that's going to do is that's going to thin out that compound and get it to the finer. So it's going to kind of wash the larger grains out. And you'll hear, you can hear the difference, especially feel the difference as you're doing it. So you can see now it's actually changing color a little bit from that finer grit. We want to try to get basically an even color all the way around after you've lapped the valves, it's very important to make sure you get all of that stuff out because it is. It's an abrasive. You don't want it getting run in up into the guides or down into the cylinders where it gets into the rings. It'll, uh, it'll make short work of your cylinder walls. Now the next thing that's important to note here is I lapped this valve for this seat. So those two are a matched set. I do not want to then set this aside and lose track of it and have it end up over in this hole when I assemble the motor. I want every valve that I lap to match the seat that I lapped it against. They should be the same, but this way we know that they are an exact matched pair. So what I tend to do is I will, with a Sharpie, just mark them. So if I call this number one and this number two, I'll just put a two on that guy. Then I can set these off to the side while I do all of the rest of them. I don't want to install it now because then it makes it harder to clean up the valve grinding compound from the other ones. That's all there is to it. Just do that 16 times. Here's an example of an exhaust valve that I'm working on. So this is untouched, right there. And this one, I've lapped. You can see, I still have a little ways to go. It's got some spots on it, but it looks pretty good compared to this other one. So this is what you're after. Well, not right there. <laughs> More like this. This is what it should look like when you uh, start like this. So that's what we're after. Here's the seat on that exhaust as well. You can see it's looking really good here. A little bit of a low spot there, a little bit in here too. But it's getting really close. All right, I finished all of the valves, finished all of the seats. This head is effectively ready to be assembled. 
Again, it's got the grit from that grinding compound, so I'm going to get it nice and clean first. I'm also going to paint the head. So once I get it painted, get it all cleaned up, then I'll come back and assemble it. I like to do one head and then the next, simply because it keeps uh, the bench a little bit more clear. That way I don't have 16 valves that I have to keep track of. I only have eight of them I have to keep track of at any given time. That's it. It's pretty simple. Just takes a bit of time, a little bit of effort. Thanks for watching.